his latest thing is where he said, no one wants to see curvy women. No one wants to see them on the catwalk. <laughs> I love this. I love this joke a little bit. He don't be water. And, and this, group of, this group of women, and I won't try to say the name of the group in, in French because I'll, I'll screw it up, but in English it translates to beautiful, round, sexy, and I'm okay with it. That's their group's name. God they said, them. he said these defamatory and derogatory statements, and they're just not going to stand for it anymore because they feel like that it is showing little girls everywhere that their bodies and who they are is not right. So they wanted to file suit against So, Emmy, hmm. people taking a stand for something that you and I and many people have believed for a long yes. time. What what do you make of this? Of especially French women. I love it. Taking a stand on Michelle, this. I love this. I love hearing how French women are taking a stand where fashion is the you know where fashion is where right. it's really the, the the this this cornerstone of all of our lives. Women in Korea, women in Italy, women in Brazil, women in America are starting to use their voice on social media for these issues uh, around body and around, wait a minute, you can't say this to me. You can this does not make me feel good. It's not just women who are around, it's women in general, mm -hmm. mothers, mm -hmm. aunts, grandparents, uh, and women who are, are curvy that are like, you can't bully me anymore. No more. That's no it. More. Yeah. And he, as you said, he's known to say outrageous mm -hmm. things. That's not an excuse, though, for these comments. That's for that's sure. Right. But does this also get to the point that we shouldn't be taking the lead from a fashion designer, <laughs> maybe, on how we should feel about ourselves? Exactly. I think that's a really, really good point. You've got to see, you know, seek the source. Um, he, uh, he lives his life the way he does, so let's just keep his comments uh, at a low roar. But can Don't we take them talk personally. about something that's very interesting? Mm -hmm. Karl Lagerfeld himself used to be a hefty fella. Yes. He used to be over 200 pounds and lost an extreme amount of weight, and he actually said that fashion for him was his influence to an inspiration to live a healthier life and to right. get thin. What and to Kate's point, though, this group of women is also saying it's just that reason, because of his cachet, right. that we are holding him accountable. Because there are people like him, the little girls listen to what these That's fashion right. designers say, so we need to hold him accountable. Right. That, I, I think that, you know, look, I'm raising two daughters, right? Uh, How, and old How old are they? How old are they? Uh, ten and three and a half going on 27. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, uh, we often hear the thing, uh, the expression, women dress for other women. Uh, you know, women are other women's harshest critics. You know, and well, Lagerfeld, I agree with, uh, try to make him as irrelevant as you can as quickly as possible. That's because right. you want to separate that out. But when you get into even nomenclature like a plus size model, you're right. a model, you're a beautiful woman. That should be it. You know, people come Thank in lots you, of different amen. varieties. I really, but I, but right. I often yeah, feel, when I watch right. my daughter 10 years old, uh, and she is beautiful. Certainly nobody She's will convince me of anything else. Right now. And I see her looking at what other women have on. And, and I think there's got to be an empower movement from within as well. Because I'll tell you, you I went to the Giorgio Armani show the other night. Love Giorgio Armani, Italian, right? Yep. Must be good. My mother <laughs> spent the entire night. I went with my mom and my wife, mm -hmm. two most beautiful women there. And my mother spent her whole night oh, right. looking at the women in the dresses and going, <gasps> what is wrong with her? <gasps> what well, is wrong? This and, is you know, so you got to reinforce the image yeah. for men. My mother takes such a time to look at the girls. You look beautiful. Know that yes. about yourself. No, that's got to be in there, too. Forget about him. You know, cut out, cut out the dumb statements. Worry about empowering yourselves, you know? The, the one point that really, get hitting it home time and time again, is the diversity of beauty. Absolutely. That what you see in the magazines. Look at this table. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, look at us. And then it's the thumb. That's why we love Mr. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Four fingers and the thumb. Are you the foil? I'm looking thumb. But the diversity, we really truly have to embrace that. And when you take a look at a cover of a magazine, or if you take a look at an image that you see on a billboard, tell your kids that the eyes have been redone, the neck has been elongated, the body has been Photoshop elongated, the, everything's day. been right. redone yeah. to be this kind of image that's not a real image. Mm. Well, I have a face full of makeup, yep. head yeah. full of weave, well, and lashes like, on. So it's an image. 